Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we'll be going over the first theorem of graph theory. It gets this special name because it's often the first theorem that people are introduced to when they're learning graph theory. So let's get into it and see exactly what this theorem is. And here it is. This is the first theorem of graph theory. It says that if g is a graph of size m, remember that the size of a graph is just the number of edges it has. So if g is a graph that has m edges, then the sum of the degrees of all of its vertices is equal to 2m. So that's 2 times the number of edges in the graph. Remember that the degree of a vertex v is the number of edges incident to v. Equivalently, it's the number of vertices that v is adjacent to. And this here, under our summation symbol, just tells us that we're taking all vertices in the vertex set of g. So what the first theorem of graph theory tells us is that if a graph has m edges, then the sum of the degrees of all of its vertices is equal to twice the number of edges in the graph. So why is that true? Well, let's first take a quick peek at a simple example. So here's a fine looking graph. What's the size of this graph? Well, we just have to count up the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six edges in this graph, so we know that its size is six. So this is the M in the first theorem. The graph has size M, this graph has size six. So if we add up the degrees of all of the vertices in this graph, we should get two times six, which is 12. So now let's take a look at the degrees of these vertices. The degree of this vertex is 2, the degree of this vertex is also 2, the degree of this vertex is again 2, the degree of this vertex is 4, and the degree of both of these vertices is 1. So that's plus 1, and then plus 1 again. Again, remember that the degree of a vertex is just the number of edges incident with that vertex. So this is the sum of the degrees of all of our vertices. How much is this? 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 1 is 11, plus 1 is 12, which is 2 times 6, just as the first theorem of graph theory tells us it should be. So why is this theorem true? Well, again, what's the degree of a vertex? The degree of a vertex is just the number of times an edge is incident with that vertex. So for example, if we look at this vertex here, how many times is an edge incident to that vertex? This edge right here is incident to that vertex, so that's one. This edge right here is incident to the vertex, so that's two. This edge here is incident to the vertex, that's three. And then this edge here, that's four. So the degree of this vertex is four because there are four edges incident to it, which we can think of as being four times that an edge is incident with this vertex. So the sum of the degrees of all of the vertices in this graph is going to be the number of times that any edge is incident to any vertex. Each edge is incident to two vertices. So the total number of times that an edge is incident to any vertex is going to be twice the number of edges in the graph. And that's exactly what the first theorem tells us. So let me say that one more time. The degree of a vertex is the number of times that an edge is incident to that vertex. So if we want this sum here, that's the sum of the degrees of all of the vertices. So that's going to be the total number of times that any edge is incident with any vertex. Every edge is incident with two vertices. So that number is going to be twice the number of edges. We can see that if we're counting up the degree of every vertex in this graph, each edge is going to be double counted. Each edge is going to be counted twice. For example, we might start with this vertex, and we'd count one edge here, one edge here. There's two edges incident with that vertex, so it has degree two. Then we might move on to this vertex here, and we'd count this edge, and we'd count this edge. Again, that has degree two, but see how this edge has now been double counted. It's not going to be counted again because no other vertex is incident with that edge. But you can see how every single edge is going to be counted twice. So when we're adding up all of these degrees, we're counting each edge twice. So the total number we get is twice the number of edges. 
So that's what the first theorem of graph theory is, and that's why it's true. Hope this video helped you understand all of that. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out the Halloween special that came out yesterday at this time of recording. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Thank you.